Where's Wes right now? Wes, I know you're watching. These are your boys right yeah, now. Yeah, you know Wes is in when it's a DA winner's final. Wes got the tweets ready. Yeah, he's already. <laughs> Wes, Wes already got the congrats Venga tweet on deck. I already fucking know it. <laughs> right, let's jump in. We got Pac-Man fighting off against Greninja. Now, these guys have fought before in the past. Uh, yeah, but they've been trading. They've been trading recently. Yeah, Benny told me they're 3-1 right now. 3-1. Uh, in Sinji's favor. Ooh. But Benny is like, he's confident. But I think Venya has the last one. Yeah, I, he didn't yeah, because 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 Venya killed me. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Venya had brought won the most recent one, but yeah. Sinji's back with the vengeance, man. Making all the way winners finals, took out Mr. E. Yeah, and, and Sinji's like been like you know obviously like at the start of this game, he like you know you know Sinji's best Pac-Man from Smash Four. He won good. the first Zeno. Exactly, he's good yeah. at this game, whatever, whatever, right? But at the same time, it's like he's also been like making sure to study and improve like every week. That's the thing. So I mean, like when that Venya won the last one. Like, since you definitely thought about what went wrong and is trying to apply fixes right now. That being said, we got an emotionally even set at this point. Yeah, uh, honestly. Like, it, these percents don't matter. They're both at, like, kind of, you know, whatever percent. Well, then you mentioned that he wanted to take a little bit more passive-aggressive approach in this matchup. He didn't want to play... Passive-aggressive. He doesn't want to play campy, but he wants to play a little campy. But Camp but, but not too campy. Campy until, he, until he's like, I'm going in. And then yeah, he just and then in. he wants to go ham sandwich, you know? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, that's what it is against Pac-Man sometimes, because, like, when, when Sinji, is, he has the Hydrant down, and he's just, like, you know, over there praying while, while summoning items. You kind of just have to respect it sometimes and just let him do his thing. Because he and, wants you to approach. Yeah, and then, and because, like, Sinji, like, Pac-Man could just throw out these hitboxes that, you know, prevent you from getting in on him. Um, unless you're certain characters, whatever, but that being said, the wall is kind of working right now. It seems like Sinji's starting to pull ahead on this first stock. Yeah, I mean, um, there's almost two minutes to go down on a single stock has been taken just so, thus far, but Sinji's got him at... Oh! Can't get the smash tag. is a little bit too high. Yep. Goes for the back air instead, sitting at 150%. Oh, that was a really good setup using the turnaround grab, um, and the water from Hydrant saved him from getting punished. And then we're just going to tase him Yeah. and, uh, you know, just smash him up for the first stock. Wait till electricity, dog. He's got an offstage pressure right now. Could attempt to go for an edge guard. Has him on the ledge. Tries to set him up. I feel like this entire time, Sinji's been going for a really good DI, but as I say, I'm not going to be able to escape that down to up smash conversion. That's another thing. Like, you got to respect that detail from, uh, yeah. from not only Greninja, but Venya. You know, because, like, Venya's so good at getting these confirms where like, the second you get hit, he's hitting you with the raw bear or if you're a kill percent, the up smash. It's not even the down tilt either. It's also the dash attack, the neutral air. He's got so many moves that if you get hit by it, it will lead into that fabled up smash forward air, what have you. And he's got him on the ropes a bit. Not a single hit has been damaged. There we go. Dash attack. The platform was right there for Sinji to be able to yep. tech off of it to avoid. That's one of the saving graces against Greninja is when you're getting hit by this vortex, you can sort of opt to tech on platforms <clears> and sort of stop the pressure. Um, but that being said, Venya did pull ahead. Percent lead right now. Um, I think he's in that I'm going in phase right now that he was oh, talking yeah. about. Oh, put, yeah. Putting put that uh, pedal to the metal, trying to get this aggression going. Pac-Man letting out these squeaky up airs right now. Squeaky yeah, clean. I so, mean, I mean, if he takes a bath like that all the time, man. They got the hydrant blown water on Do you, do you on hear him. these noises every time he up airs, though? Yeah. It's like a... Uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh. That same noise every single time. It, it's, it's ridiculous. He, he doesn't have ears, so he can't hear it. I wouldn't want to hear it if I was No, Pac honestly. If I if I heard myself and I sounded like that, I'd be out of here. Wouldn't they give Pac-Man a nose, honestly? Wait, okay, there we go. What does he need to smell for? <laughs> he needs to smell the fear of his opponents. No one to go in. All right, we got the Galaxian ship ready to go. Oh, never mind. I opted to go for the bell instead. Oh, hold on. That actually caught him. I wonder what, what Sakurai was thinking when they sat down, like, all right, Pac-Man's going to be in this game. Uh-huh. What, what do we do for his moves? Let's make him summon every object from Bandai Namco's universe. I mean, they couldn't work with much, dog. He just, he's a dude that eats pellets and eats I, ghosts. I, I know, that's true, but, you know, like, like we Fit Trainer, like, she salutes the sun, like, and, and like... Yeah, she does more than Pac-Man. Exactly, and it's, like, so arbitrary. I mean, whatever, like, they were on something. But, yeah, yeah. Um, that being said, Sinji's on something right now, and it's a deficit. I mean, if they give Duck Hunt a moveset, like... <laughs> That's true. Um, but Venya approaching kill percent, um, and... That's yeah, it. Yeah. Wow, he had time to, to come to a screeching halt, look at him, and then down. That's stunned for a long time. I was shocked. I, th I thought Sinji might have messed up, too, because of how long he yep. screeched that for. So, emotionally even, I'd say. One Sinji Vortex, um, Fair Train, whatever. See, like, two two get off me's, and it's just kind of pretty much even. Oh, yeah. But again, trying to throw that Hydrant against him really slowly. I like that double forward air setup from Sinji. 
Trying to get some more damage off the Galaxian ship. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, I mean, Venny is still just going to apply a little bit more passive. I don't think it's going to go to the timer, even though there is only two minutes left. You never know. Sure. Yeah. They Honestly. Can, they can both start getting because, like, Venya's been going a little more aggressive, and it's been starting to make him lose this lead. Only by a mere 12%. Zinji's starting to play super passive. That fair reaching through the bouncy of the trampoline. I think it actually hit the trampoline in the process. Yep, yep. So a two for one. Yeah, a right. two for. Makes it last a little bit longer. Okay, get that hydrant out of there. Now, Zinji's going to be can't, using this fire hydrant a lot, just to, like, use the water to push Greninja away. Try to use that as this wall they setting up, so you try to get as many items as you can to throw against him. And I'm putting it out there. I want a timeout right now. Really? I, I want them to start Honestly, camping it Honestly, at 80 seconds, you know. I mean, that's possible it's, at this point. But he's only also, at 62. But also, Pac-Man could just, like, hit him with the bell. Yeah. What? what that was, like, some slow... What's happening? What? What is what? going on? He's, like, slowing down the game with the counters. Does that is that supposed to happen I to Pac-Man too? Well, the thing is, I think because he's triggering it off of the hydrant. So maybe I, so it affects him. I don't know. Mark? I hope we get blue screened right now. Yeah, honestly, I want to see Arrow switch, 404. I hope, I hope this, the switch ejects the cartridge. Yeah, it just like spits it out. It, it's DLC too, so oh, you know. We got 50. Is that death? Yeah, it is. Dude, he set him up with the hydro pump. Great startup. Coming from Venia, remaining is cool. Didn't even care the timer was at 40 seconds left. Yep, yep, yep. He was gonna. He was probably um, considering on the run over. Either I'm, I'm up being again, or I'm down smashing, and he opted to cut him. You know, because he he's so good with that up B. Mm -hmm. how, how does he always get it? I, I feel like I've seen him SD off of that like maybe twice ever. Yeah, he never SDs, and he's always good with the placement of the little squirts, the little squirts, <laughs> the little <laughs> apostrophe little, squirts, little squeakums. Um, They're like just spitting in your face, man. It's right, disrespectful so, when you think about it. So, so Venya taking game one. Wes's tweet still still is there in the tab. Um, yeah. So did you see it? What? It this tweet? Did no, it come it, out? No, no, I don't. He didn't tweet it yet. Oh, he didn't tweet. He it didn't yet. tweet that Venya won Zeno yet. No. No, I, I was hoping he would tweet for a DA Winners Finals. That's what I want to see. Oh, he probably. I don't know. Maybe he did. Is there the gauntlet happened yesterday? I had no idea until like it was already happening. I, I always miss those. I, I, I always I keep forgetting it's a bi-weekly. Um, That's uh, why I think I forget about so, it. Because yeah, you, you have you that forget. week to forget. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, what's on Tuesdays? Oh, nothing. Um, shout out to Wes. But uh, yeah, honestly, I, when, I, when I was the once I was at gauntlet, it was it was a lot of fun. So I've never went. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go game two. Um, All right, back to PS2. So Sinji pooping the trampoline, getting to ledge. The good, exciting gameplay we all love to see. Same exact music. Let's go. Um, I actually dig this song. Honestly, yeah. It's one of the better um, ones. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the ones that sort of didn't age as, as poorly as the others because the mm -hmm. other ones kind of like got stale. But I'm yeah. whatever. I mean, we've been listening to this since 2001, so I like, yeah. get it. Um, wow, that that delayed for quite a second. Yeah. Um, so That log's just going to sit there. The log doesn't even do anything, I don't think. You can hit it, with, and it causes your attacks to like stay out longer, yep. but that's about it. Then you're doing a good job of, um, like, while since he has these these goofy items, right? Um, then you're doing a good job of, like, applying shield pressure where Sinji can't really get as big a punish as he's used to getting. Because he usually gets something like, you know, he throws it at a shield, does, like, a humble jumble three hit, 50% combo, right? Mm -hmm. But instead, he's getting, like, maybe no hits, maybe one hit of just the item. Um, most of the time, Sinji's getting use out of these items is when he kind of just, like, throws the bell in neutral and then he just gets hit by it. Yeah. Um... That being said, a forward smash from Sinji there, giving percent to Venya, and this one's getting pulled away in Sinji's and the, favor. the nature of the projectiles is, like, sometimes you're throwing it because you got to read, but sometimes you're just throwing it because you can, and it, maybe it'll hit them. You know, like, sometimes you just throw in the belt, like, right there. I'm pretty sure he didn't call that out, but you see what happened? He almost, he, like, uh, how, did, how did not T-pose there? Like, I'm not sure, yeah. like, <laughs> like, why he didn't just, just go crazy and glitch out. But, um... Gonna T-pose IRL, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, got some 174. Venya's taking a lot of damage, but the thing is, he's got maximum rage. Not going to do as much as it did in the previous game, but you know what? Forward tilt the Hydrant just kind of slam hydrant on the head. That blew his head off. That yeah. was crazy. Honestly, um, that was a Looney Tunes moment. Okay, so applying pressure to Pac-Man Shield where you do an aerial and then you land on the trampoline to sort of make it uh, safe. Um, smart stuff. Uh, no, no squirtums. Now, the thing is, the beginning of the previous game, Venia also lost the first stock. Yep. So he, brought, he brings it back just like that. Didn't take a single hit. That was interesting. So uh, Hydrant lands on top of him. Yes. It, it, it boops him over to the right side where Pac-Man was landing, and he cuts him. All according to plan. Yeah, yeah. The Keiku. Keiku Kaku. I got hit by it. Yeah. Um, Okay, so we have two stocks. I the, got hit by a watching it. The music's going crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, so that means Benny is going to go crazy. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's like this This is like one of those faster-paced songs. 
So who, whichever player is the fast player in the match, they always turn up. Yeah. And, and since he's never really the faster player, you know, he's kind of like the methodical one. So, like, unless he gets hype charging the fruit, I don't think he's going to get a music power-up. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I like those I like those uh, shurikens he was throwing out, too, because he was, like, deleting the trampoline. Because yep. sometimes Sinji just likes placing the trampoline in front of himself, so it prevents the opponent from trying to approach him grounded. You know, because that, that's what Venny likes to do. He likes to approach grounded, like, try to get those down tilts, dash stacks. Man, this song gets me hyped. Yeah, dude. Um, Okay, so we got, we got uh, two hit. Ah! Up smash? Okay, yeah, out of range. Yeah, too high in the air. No way that would connect. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's also a time thing. Maybe you just didn't feel like you can get over there quick enough. Now, right there, I feel like that lasts for a pretty long time. You see Zinji holding the shield. I was almost, like, afraid for the shield pressure. Oh? We oh, got parry? a parry? Parry and then nothing? Yeah, I mean, looks, That's like, looks accidental, right, but it's right, fine. Are we going to throw the bell? Are we going to throw it? Okay. Yeah, he's looking for it. Uh, Throw it right now. Oh, that would have been it. You saw him go for a short hop. It's coming. It's coming. Anytime Venia goes for a short hop, that's like a perfect opportunity for the bell. What the hell is going on? This is DA household at 2 a.m. stuff <laughs> right now. <laughs> They're session right now, they, right? They went for They're about a, to play doubles after he, this. He went for like a like a weird double jump side B cross into the blast zone. Like he read a Sinji side B or something. Yeah. Like, I love it. I love when people know each other so much they go for goofy stuff that we can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. Um and that just comes from, that's just like instinct at that point. Because it's yep. just like you play them so much you don't even think about it. Law of the jungle right now. At yeah. It's finest. Uh, f fight or flight. Yeah. Um, so uh, beware of Bell. Um, beware of Nair from Pac Man. Up air and back air. Yeah, well, right now, Venia is definitely playing the flight mode. Yep, yep. But uh, no. I, I don't think that'll kill. No, no kill, yeah. But we, we char we're charging a bell now, so we're scared again. Yeah. Um, all right, but yeah. Venia is not scared, dude. Uh, even though he died to it, he still jumped in. Yeah, like, like, like that's the thing. So Sinji has been doing a lot of uh, hydrant, double jump, back air to catch jump in, which is like the classic. But, you know, it still hits and it kills that, you know. Huge percent. So, oh, Venny wanted the Hydrant to push him a little sooner. You saw him ready that up smash, trying to catch Inji off guard. Oh, he tried to escape to the ledge. Venny is not having any of that. Yep, yep, yep. He caught him. Yeah, that, that, that's 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 another one of the the two AM DA tech. Yeah. Um, well, honestly, I mean, if if, if Sinji just randomly up B's out of shield because it's a really good option uh, to approaching you know, opponents like that, he'll want to go to the ledge because if he lands on the ground, he's wide open. So I understand why he did. I understand why Venny opted to go for that reason. He he forward aired the hydrant as it was a projectile coming towards him, which basically nullified it and also hit Pac Man. That forward air is crazy. Oh my goodness. That grab was insane. Grab armor through <laughs> that was the crazy. hydrant. Grab armor through the hydrant. Yes. These guys have lost all control. They don't know who, what's going on right now. They're about to come, like, after this thing, be like, whoa, what just happened? He double jumped onto the up B? Like, or he did the second hop mm -hmm. of it? Up throw, no okay. up there. Yeah, Venny's going to jump away from that scenario. Okay, so we have a bell. Um, and oh. Venny's doing a good job mixing up what he's going to do. Because sometimes he full hops and just goes in with an aerial on Sinji. Sometimes he full hops to bait out an option just to fade away. He's trying to mix up Sinji to, like, waste his item projectile. Oh, that is such a scary spot for Venia. Because he naturally wants to jump out his shield. That's an anti-air tool coming at him. Oh, that key? Sinji hasn't oh. really used the key yet. This could mix up his timing. That shield's starting to whittle away. F tilt angle up on the hydrant. Interesting. Uh, new hydrant key. Okay. Oh, my God. That shield's so small. And he shields it. Great ah. air dodge. Barely avoids the up smash. We're scared. We're scared. Okay. Off stage. 142 for Venia. Uh, I feel a goofy Hydrant Apple setup on the way. Ah! Oh, he caught with the down. Why does it? Why does Pac Man <laughs> slow down? I'm so confused. That's slow. -mo. Uh, That's not gonna kill. Yeah, but we're scared. Right oh now. yeah, he had. To, he knew Venia was looking for something. Goes for the side beat, the unconventional recovery. Get back onto the stage. Places mm -hmm. the trampoline to give him some breathing room, so he can re grab that projectile bell key. Oh, jump over that. Ah, look out! He's trying to apply shield pressure. He's even spacing those forward airs. Okay, Try okay, to splash him with the squirtums. Back huh. on stage. Anything but the squirtums. Um, 20 okay. seconds! I didn't even notice! Oh my goodness! Hold, hold, wait, hold up. I'm this hyped. is Venny has got to make a play. Time is ass oh. oh, okay. You know what? He had to get in there. Like, of course, Sinji was going to throw an apple because he knew Venny was going to dash in because Venny didn't really have a choice. Imagine being he so could jump for like maybe three seconds. Imagine having so many timeouts under your belt that you don't care when you win with that much time left. No, not at all. <laughs> Never forget uh, Sinji versus John Numbers. Were you there for that? What the Nevs days? Yeah, the Nevs days. Yeah, grand grand finals. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that a? Wasn't that grand? Grand old time and grand. Those were bad, man. Those were dark days. I was scared because the first Zeno that we had for Ultimate, the first grand finals was that. 
And I was like, oh my god, please not again. Yeah. Like, I'm cool with Sinji, I'm cool with John Rivers. I don't want yeah, them yeah. ever fighting each other yeah, on stream me, ever me, again. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I mean, thankfully it hasn't happened since, but... Yeah. Um, all right, so we're being patient right now. And Venny's not having none of that. Then you're going for some bear bear, probably side B kills. Uh, oh, it's going to happen. Ooh, tried uh, to get... Yeah. I, Sinji had to air dodge yeah, it. Was an, it, was a good, uh, it was a good option coverage. Um, I mean, maybe jump would have worked, but also that's risky. So... Um, then you're pulling away with the early bit of momentum uh, in this crucial game three. You see Sinji crossing him up a bit. Those back ears again, trying to put that trampoline out. Venya throwing the shuriken just to delete the, uh, the trampoline right. so you can actually get in there and play aggressive. Sinji going for Twitter combos um, to no avail, but uh, we have a pretty much an even game right now. There's the jump. The thing is, every single time that Sinji runs out of double jumps in the air, he tends to throw the Hydra because it gives him a little bit of boost as well as just like a an active projectile out there to force Vinya to respect. He tried to down smash to catch the fingy tips, but it just didn't hit. I'm not sure if he was still in invincibility or what. Um, so Sinji getting to ledge. Uh, we're both fishing for aerials right now. Yeah, they're both dashing back and forth. He, waiting feeling for the each one. other out right now. Yeah, they're trying to see who's going to commit first. Oh man, if anyone went to catch a jump right there. He pushed him through the Hydra while he was holding shield. That was wacky. Oh my goodness, he threw the... Ah, that is such a... I mean, the thing oh, is, no Venya no would jump, no catch jump. so many people with that, right? Mm -hmm. But because it's Sinji, who has played against him a lot, he knew exactly what was coming, so yep. he, goes, he times air dodge every single time perfectly. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Ooh. catching the key while he was dealing with the Hydra. That's the problem. Like, when you're dealing with the Hydra too much, Sinji just knows. He... he Ooh, he jumped under it. He ran under the damn that thing. That was a diehard moment, man. He, like, dived through the window. That was crazy. Ooh. Ah! He actually went there to try to, like, follow up with the pressure of the Hydra, but Sinji playing very aware, backed up away from both the water, the Hydra pump and the Hydra. Just goes for the raw forward smash, Inky. What are you doing? Okay. Every single game has gone that way. They die immediately after. Yeah. yeah. Or Venny gets the kill without taking any damage. So the first stock didn't matter. Okay, so six minutes left on the clock. Um, Five. Oh, great. I hope we get a timeout. <laughs> uh, so we're getting there. Ever so closer. I feel it this game, actually. I feel like it might have a little bit. I don't know. The music's pumping up. Benny is playing mad aggressive right now. There's I don't know. Like, no ESDs. I want a, Ooh! I want a crucial timeout. I want a timeout with two stocks left. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we got we got Sinji combos. Um, that one's not going on Twitter. So No, not uh, that, that Galaxian ship. Uh, oh, getting oh. your plays on Hydrant. That was just poor timing for Sinji, man. That, that was moving at such a, like, a perfect space for Venya. Good downer. Yeah, just helps him land down on the ground. Galaxian ah. combos, okay. Venya catches it. Oh, you got, he just deleted it, Never mind. You can use the trampoline to get back onto the stage. Dash attack to set him up for a forward air. He's not going to commit to the side B. Yeah, an air dodge still. Okay, we're going to use the up B. Nair out of shield. Nair out of oh, shield. He's so hungry for the dash attack. That, that Nair is frame quick. You've got to be careful. And you know what Vinny's not really been going for this entire set is grabs. You don't see him do it too often. <gasps> what? Did that save him? What? What? what, what excuse like, me? I heard the sound effect of someone going towards the blast zone, and then the bell stopped him. Yeah, I thought he was in the middle of counter or something. What, what's going on? What are you guys doing to me? I don't like this game. Um, <laughs> okay, we grab him. I don't know what that up smash was. I think that was maybe a misinput or some weird read. Um, but, uh, you know, three minutes left, three and a half minutes. Um, Sinji with the stock lead uh, at kill percent, though. So uh, this is going to take a while to get a kill unless Venya get, like, finds a read or, or hits him with a shield poke forward. He's spacing these forwarders very well. But wait a sec, the glassing combo? Nope, not going to do too much off of it. But now Sinji's playing aggressive. Oh, yep, yep, yep. He's trying to pad this lead. Nice okay. catch. Oh, okay. oh. Trying to play trades. Oh, again, the trampoline giving him a get-out-of-jail-free card. Ah! Messing up Venya's recovery. He had yeah. a little bit of lag right there. Mm -hmm. What in oh, oh, nation? There it is. Okay. He's, He's going to get too He's much higher percent. He's going so deep to that oh mess him up finally. God. No, he got no, the no, trampoline. No, 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 no he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Final stocks. Winner of this. Whoever gets the next kill will move on to grand finals. I don't see a timeout coming. Um, so, Okay. Sinji oh, combo starting off the that's stock. That's a lot of damage. We're in the percent where you don't want to get hit by Bell. Um, you can, you'll, you'll be happy to get hit by Key, I guess. But oh, oh okay. okay. No, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, we'll, we'll, Sinji knows easy he, wants 45, to, easy he 45. wanted to end the stock right there. Sinji's gonna immediately go for the air dodge, get back onto the stage, safe and sound. Respect the Bell. Good spacing. Uses the neutraler so he doesn't get hit by it. Back throw. 
He has Bell on deck. Here it comes. And he doesn't want to commit to that dash oh. grab. Double jumps to avoid the Still Bell. Still has it. Still has it. He's just going to keep tossing it. Okay. okay Bell catches is gone. the lag Bell of the air dodge. Yeah, Venya managed to, to outlast Bell here. Hydrogen on the way. Again, Venya is he's finding him going for all these full hop double jumps just to avoid all these projectiles Sinji's yeah, throwing at him. I see Venya being very careful with his movement. I like it. Because um, now's the time to definitely do that. Be careful with Key. Key on deck. That will kill the second it connects onto Venya. So he's got to. It's going to come out is he gonna go for hard. A... It's going to come out fast. Oh. I thought he was going to go for a jump read. Grab. Uh, not going to die. Yeah, not going to kill. Um, but, you know. Positional advantage, uh, Hydrant with damage, Bell on deck. Uh, this is looking good for Sinji right now. The thing is, the clock's in his favor because there's no way Venny is going to win by a timeout at this yep. point. He yep. has to get the kill. Meanwhile, Sinji has two different win conditions. He could survive for 70 oh. seconds or get the kill. Oh, wait, wait a second. We're, we're getting dangerous now. We're getting near up smash. Oh, we, oh. What? what? Wait, wait, hold on. What? He, he back air. He no. back through. I think it was a. It was he either, back through the hydrant. I was either. A and because he swung the hydrant, it he swung been, Vidya at the hydrant. It might have been pummel. It might have been pummel. Uh, uh, was that a pummel? Or was that a back? Not, who, who really cares? You know, like we, I don't want to. Can ask you watch it one more time, Devin? I, I don't. No, you want to see nobody the dramatic zoom what it was. on the hydrant? Just, can you like? Yeah, hold on, hold on it a sec. Like, can you slow mo? Here's the grab. Not yet. I, yeah, some someday. Here's the grab. Hydrant. So, so I he, feel like it had to been a, either what? you know like while he was swinging him around for the back throw. That's what I was thinking. That was that was my thought process. He got committed to the back throw, which is like an active hitbox similar to like Mario's back throw. Hit the hydrant. Yeah, it was either that or a pummel that did it. Yeah. But By the way, it just looked like the hydrant just like that was very resourceful. Yeah. Um, because like you know while we were talking like Venya was starting to get some momentum, but while he was off stage for half a second, Vin uh, uh, since he was damaging a hydrant to be able to be either pummel or back thrown into the hydrant to, to <laughs> knock it away to, to secure that last stop. Now, do you think that was mm -hmm. no idea what to think about this matchup? Well, um, Ness has been on a tear on the local scale lately. He, yep. A lot of a lot of Ness has been winning the locals uh, in New Jersey. They've been doing it. Dark Texas. <laughs> Dark Matter and James, I think, has a Ness. Yeah, Las Vegas. Like, you just got tons of Nesses all over the place. Hey, Austin, do you have recaps of these local tournaments? Yeah, I think America? you could check it at uh, youtube.com slash Vista. I think you check out the Smash Ultimate recap there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. So, um, speaking of locals, Frozen uh, having 58% uh, <laughs> against Dark Matter. Uh, game the most one. beautiful segue. <laughs> all right, all right well, let's go. I wonder what. Uh, because um, I feel like uh, the way I, I describe Dark Matter's play is that, like it, 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 it's like such so many tactically random options. I feel like he he he, he I feel like he throws out things like fair and, and back air and down B like at, at like they're not arbitrary, but just, they're just like the perfect times. You, it's like you think there's no thought process yeah. behind it, but well, it's just him being really random. Yeah, it, it, no, it, it's just like I don't know. It, 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 it's it can't be it can't be random if it, if it always works. You that know? So, killed? Yeah, I don't know what that di was. That was caveman di. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, Unga bunga di. All right, let's see that third jump you have, Ness. Wham. Okay. Um, see that air dodge? You get so much distance yep. off of that air dodge. Damn, that's forward though. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh, that was really scary. He had the right call. He just messed up the PK yeah, Thunder. Yeah. If he would have actually connected that, he would have done so much damage to Frozen. Yeah. It wouldn't have killed, but would have sent out oh a message. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you gotta avoid that PK fire. A juicy 70, 74 in Frozen right now. Wait, Dark Fighter's kind of playing out of his mind. Yeah, he's he's, he's mad good with Ness. I'm telling you, like, makes me want to use him. But um, so back air getting getting Palo off stage. It seems like Palo, like, you know, she has options to deal with, like, like Ness's edge guards, but it's still, like, you can't really punish this stuff. It's either it hits you or he's safe. Oh, that was a good empty hop grab. Gonna get a lot of damage off it. That's actually crazy. Um, okay, down throw, no raw bear. Oh! Good explosive flame to cover his, uh, his Up recovery. E to reestablish neutral. Back out of shield. Barely not killed. Yeah, uses the double jump to try to avoid the blast zone. Try to get in that little corner. Right. Right, we're, he's looking to toss her soon. Down smash. Okay, not getting yeah. the fingertips. Really hungry for that grab. And Frozen knows it. Playing super safe, using, spacing out a lot of back airs. Because the thing is, if you catch someone, uh, someone's shield with back air on Palu, yep, that's yeah. free. You cannot punish that. You just got to respect it. This you got to accept that that shield's going to be there. This is getting scary for both both characters right now because obviously Ness can kill Palu right now. But uh, okay. There it is. He was looking for it the entire time. Finally got it. Let's see if Frozen can try to pay in kind. Okay, down throw. Didn't get too much off of it. Has him off stage, 113%. Tries to go off stage and drag him with the neutral air. Oh, look out. 
There we go. Just go for the simple jab. Pushes him off. How did he? That he avoided move. the explosive flame because he was in the PK fire animation. That was some where he spicy ducks. movement right there. Yeah. yeah that, he gets so much off yes. that air dodge. Holy yeah. crap. Dark he Mario does have a triple jump. Yeah, Dark Mario definitely taking advantage of um, all these recovery options. Yes. Yeah. The thing is that, that you have two frames of vulnerability when you do that as well. Yep. So it Frozen, if Frozen starts catching on to that, it starts to wisen up. Could potentially get an edge guard. It's still difficult though, because he can mix up the timing on it. But yeah, I know yeah. I, I get what you're saying. So um, you know, uh, while Frozen's trying to figure out a way to, to gimp this character, because it was Prisma with Judge Grip. <gasps> that oh. was really dangerous, but it, it didn't work out. Yeah, that was like the classic in Smash 4 where if you were a Fire Emblem character with a counter, you would counter that up B. Yeah. Um, and made the matchup free. But Palu's didn't work. I wonder if any characters would work. Like, so. I guarantee you Kroms would work on that. Maybe. I've definitely done that before. <laughs> that was just some weird distance for Frozen. Okay, so no dangling yo-yo oh. on that one. Uh, Ness, does he have a jump? Yeah. He does not have he a does jump. Not, no wonder he's capitalizing. He oh. challenged the PK Thunder oh with the goodness. back air. It hasn't. I mean, the back air is a shield. It has the ability to block attacks, but what a call out from Frozen. That entire game, I thought Dark Matter was in control. Okay, so Dark Matter right now needs to... Do what he's been doing. Yeah, just yeah. Like, he's been pleased. He was playing really well that game. He it's lost kinda, his double jump. Yeah, it's kind of got out of his hands. As long as he stays calm, um, and you know, just takes a deep breath and plays this next game with a fresh mind, um, without thinking about the last game getting like kind of swept from under his feet, he'll be okay. So it's just like a mental thing right now. Now, if anyone was mentioning this, now this is uh, Ness likes to counter big Kalos Pokemon League because of the walls underneath. It allows his down oh, smash to Yo-Yo just to be able to dingle there. It makes it way more difficult uh, to try to it's avoid. It's like more consistent. Yeah, yeah because it. on the battlefield in Final Destination, yeah, they're, little, they're edges. They're a little hoofing under the Yeah, okay, so you can try it. to avoid it a little bit better. So that's why he likes to go to stages like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, forward throw, get him off stage. Uh, trying to get some damage right now with PK fire throw combos. Um, Frozen kind of just like saying get off me with the shield. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much been doing that the whole yep. tournament. That back air, really good. Okay, neutral air, too high a percent to try to get any sort of follow-ups. Just gives him some distance. Gives him some stage control. Point good, blank good. explosive yeah, flame. Tilt explosive flame being I like perfect it. distance. What a good punish. I don't think Frozen wanted neutral air to end that early. I think he wanted to try to drag it in a little bit later. There we go. Good spacing on that forward air. Okay, Frozen pulling away, catching the regular getup with back air. Frozen is mad good. He's a he's adapting. A little catching these options. Okay, so we have her at, at 101 off stage. PK Thunder incoming. Yo-Yo. Good reflect oh, to, to get toaster. Oh, oh. Good air dodge off of the peak uh, off of the warp. All right, we're resetting it. Okay. Go on the platform because he has that mix-up yeah. tool. The nooch is resetted right now, um, but scary. Yep. Back here from us taking it. Watch those feet. That was very good from Dark Matter. You know, keeping himself composed. And push the healing toes. a whopping two percent. Um, I mean, it was less about the heal and more about just avoiding the move. I guess so. And not committing to your air dodge. I wonder if he only got like one part of that side B. Or yeah, something. right. Oh, upper Wait. challenging there. And Ness got the win. Whoa. Okay. Let's go, Ness. Ness is the man. Dude, he's a boy. Big he's headed, a child. Little, little kid. Um, there we go. All right, so. Frozen back air taking the stock. It seems like these shield moves from, from Palu are the way right now. Um, okay, fourth throw from Ness. Push him off, avoid that yo yo. Some spicy spacing going on right now. Yeah. Looking like a jalapeno out here. Ooh! Okay. You notice that. Oh, we're gonna catch Ledge get up? Okay. That was a good mix up from Dark Matter going into that circle to try to catch that mix up. Yep. Okay, Frozen not trying to commit to anything. Good parry off of the PK fire. Less Gets a big error. damage off of it. Ooh, nice call out. No, he's going to DI in completely. He goes for the forward save smash. Save this jump. He saved this jump. Oh, 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 God. I think Frozen thought his jump was gone. Yeah, yeah. I thought it too. Um, he's living. Okay, so what's going to happen here? We're getting down smash. Oh, he tried to read a platform option, and he was right, but a little too early. Um, okay, back here. Punishes the whiff grab. Wait a sec. Kay. Trying to cal call him out where he's going to go with that teleport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems like he's catching on the, the Frozen Sword gravitating towards these platforms. Maybe for swag platform cancels, but yeah. um, whatever the case, he hasn't really gotten punished yet. Back air going to take that stock. Whenever you're at like 110% or so, like that grab is always a consistent fear. 
Air dodge. Nice call out, Frozen catching wise. Oh. Wait, he tried to get a little antsy with that one. Avoids the grab setup, he's just going for the jump. He's got about 129%. If he lands that explosive flame, that could potentially be a stock if he's high enough in the air. Goes for the back air instead, 144. Gonna force out the air dodge. No, he's staying on the stage instead. Nice spacing. Dead even right now. Dead even, but I would say, you know, this is this is match game to lose because I uh, kind of had the lead, kind of dropped it a little bit, and it could be, you know, taken back to that last game. So, well, hold on a second. He seems he seems a bit angry right now, getting some good percent. You notice that Frozen played a little aggressive there because he committed to his double jump. Caught him with PK Thunder. This is this is good for Matt. Oh, oh that damage is racking there? up. Oh, he's at kill percent off of a Why grab are we at now. Why five? We were just respawned. What and you know, I don't know if you caught the webcam at all, but Frozen was like, he closed his eyes. Like, he accepted defeat before it happened. He's probably like, man, I'm sick. I want to go home. Yeah, like, right there, right there. <laughs> he took, took a nap. It was that down smash. He's just like, yeah, yeah I'm, like, I'm not I'm getting out. back. Yeah, it, it, it's over. So we're going to jump into the final game. Like you said, Frozen's still sick, but already in top four. Potentially one game away from moving on to top three. Yeah, and Matter, uh, Dark Matter being one of the the more consistent players to come to Xeno. Um, and he hasn't been to, like, all of them, admittedly, because, like, you know, New, New Jersey. But yeah. um, uh, It's like, always a treat to have him here. Yeah, every every time he's here, he's been, I believe, in top eight, if not, like, ninth at worst. Um, yeah. And, and he's won every doubles event. Um, really good at doubles. Yeah, um, the doubles god. He has to get here by, like, 5 p.m. sharp to get that, so yeah, he, he's that traveling. Like, that's, too, that's way too early. That's too early for me, too. Uh, I'm still in bed. Yeah, so uh, go so, back. So Different fine. change of pace with music. Yep, yep, we're on Pokey Floats. Um, Rest in peace, Pokey Floats. So let's see what kind of adjustments we're going to get. Um, Frozen opting to, to go here. Um, maybe he likes these platforms more. The probably because. The thing is, Palutena probably loves Probably because of this. Too. This is yeah. what happened that one game. He did like Uwe air strings, then he got. Did he have the, the tech read up smash? So. It also gives him two platforms to be able to do, like teleport cancel off of when he's trying to recover. The really good comboing into the neutral airs and up airs. Like, it's just. You'll notice that like pretty much every Palutena loves counter breaking here. Yep. The thing is, opponents will just kind of let her because it's it's a good stage overall for the opponents as well, you know. But right now, this is looking really strong for Frozen with the dominating start. Back air from uh, from Palu hitting PK fire, making it sort of like activate from a safe yeah. distance from Palu is really good. So he's able to avoid it. Okay, catching up B with his forward air. Ah. Okay. He landed in front of him. Grab Smart. him and toss him. Toss the salad. Uh, we got a little bit too greedy. Beat it a little bit too hard. Uh, Recovering high to avoid the down smash. That killed because of the rage. 109%. Let's see if Frozen can try to capitalize on this. Now, at this point, Frozen's going to try to take as little damage as possible before closing out the stock. You know, he's only at 4.5. Doesn't want to give any more than he, than he has to. Oh, very greedy up smash. Going to pay the price for that one. Frozen mixing up. Where's he gonna go off of the warps every single oh. time? Oh god, has him off stage. Down smash! Almost did, died. Did he, did he air dodge? Oh my god. Oh, he had the buffer. He air dodge. He, he, was, went, he, was, he was out of resources. He had him a checkmate, but he still managed to snap ledge. So. <gasps> Wait, what? He nared. He nared. I, but I thought Frozen he, he nared. nared. Uh, no, no, I thought Frozen he, nared. He, you're wrong. He nared. Him. I am wrong. Uh, uh, so. Dark I'm tight. Nared, a man on the loose right now. Lost all control. He's, he's blood hungry. Tossing Frozen. Fro he, he's not. He's at emotional disadvantage. Is that what Fro it's Frozen needs some Nyquil right now. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so we got. We got he needs Dayquil, dog. He's got to stay awake. Put, uh, spike some caffeine in there. Oh, down throw. Nair. Wait, double jump. Wait, the jump is gone, but he has like 20 million yeah. foot air dodge. Okay, so he was also super close to the stage. Okay, so um, Frozen has some ground to make up, but oh, not <laughs> not that was that was an all. That stayed out for a yeah. year. Not not. Oh wait a second. No way. No, no way. Oh my god. Frozen's actually bringing this back. Hold on a okay, sec. Okay, okay. So this is where this is where Manny to just make sure he stays composed. Um, it still does nest things. Oh, he's getting, getting big boy he's, damage. Oh god, he's getting Beybladed right now. Okay, he get fire. Ah, he all let it rip. Okay, okay. Confirms. Okay. Oh, back air? Emotionally uneven. Emotionally uneven. Oh this my god, he was a little closer to that forward shield. <laughs> okay, trying to cast the jump off stage. Oh, we're going off? Oh, what do you got? Oh, wait, okay, okay. No, no two frames. No one, two frames. One to play safe. Try to stay on stage while going for that spike potential. Four oh, smash. Wind, wind box, fart him off. Okay, back yeah. air. <laughs> 105%. Oh, crap. He put himself in a bad spot. <laughs> Good tech. But
Wait, that's what. Oh, Frozen's oh. alive. Ninety-nine percent. Where's he gonna go? On the platform. Back air. Okay, he expected side B. Sure. Uh, we got we got mess options. Air dodge. Mess has options. Look out. He's looking for the grab. Ah! Catches the jump with an up air. And Dark Matter is going to take out Frozen at a fourth place finish. He's going to move on to Losers Finals to face off against Venya. Holy crap. That was a good set. That was a fantastic set. Dark Matter had it like this. He was like yeah. this. He had it in the palm. He had it in the palm in of his, his hand. Fingies. And he almost just just, just dropped it. Yeah, um, but he caught it with his fingers. He would have been on super tilt if he lost Yeah, it. honestly, <laughs> I would have um, been too. He had a two-stock deficit. And then... uh. Frozen almost brought that back. Waking up at the very last second, couldn't clutch it out though. What a hey! Falcon. Three, two, one, go! Nick C has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. My boy's gone. So it's just gonna be me, Austi, on the mic for you. But maybe a little bit of Devin here and there. We'll see what happens. He's probably just gonna work on the stream instead. So here we go. We got Losers Finals, Venia's Greninja fighting off against Dark Matter's Ness. Now, in the previous set that they played, Venia came out on top in a very close set. Last stock, high percents on both players. Venia talks about how he started to adapt game three. He just had to like learn what stages to take him to, what stages not to take him to. And it's definitely showing. He's got that uh, already Dark Matter at 119%, playing very confident. Gonna get a lot of big boy damage off of that home run bat. Okay, he's out of jumps, trying to catch him. Great tech, he backs on the stage, goes to the forward air, immediately takes away the stock, first stock away from Dark Matter. Okay, now we're hippity hopping, getting back onto that platform, has him at 88%. Dark Matter's kind of chilling right now, has his PK fires ready to go. You know, if he lands any of those PK fires, attacks on a lot of damage against Venny instead. Oh, he tried to go for either a grab because he thought Dark Matter was going to be in front of him or a missed input pivot grab. Gets the back throw. That's all he needs. Simple back throw. Throws him off stage. Two stocks apiece. Jumps over the PK fire. Catches the PK thunder with a shuriken. Now, at this point, Venny is going to be lo looking for some uh, neutral air, some down tilts, or just confirm off the water shuriken. Whatever. Try to get the dash tag, get the confirm into that. Instead, we're just going to go into the simple PK fire into a hit stun grab. Very hungry for those dash attacks. I mean, why not? Your ninja gets a lot off of it. Forward air is going to be able to cover the ledge jump. Tries to avoid the PK thunder playing extremely sneaky. Now he's off stage. Baits out the spot dodge. Doesn't really want to confirm into it just yet. Ends the jab prematurely. Try to confirm a grab after afterwards. Very hungry for the grab. This is very different from his set with Sinji when he was very rarely going for grabs. And now he's on the platform. Trying to uh, jump off there and maybe connect to a back air. Catches the full hop with an up air instead. Venia off stage. Gets back on. 108 to 116. A lot of full hops coming from Venia. Trying to play extremely safe throughout those forward airs, just uh, poking the man's shield. Gets the grab, forward throw, not enough to get the kill just yet, 140%. Puts him off with the, uh, the hydro pump. Splishing and splashing. Takes a little bit of damage, saves his double jump. Tried to, uh, thing is, Dark Matter played very extremely safe there, but not enough to get onto the stage. Gets caught by the grab, forward throw, is gonna take that second stock away from Dark Matter. Now Venny is looking for these forward airs. Hanging on that ledge for dear life. Mixes up where he's going to land. Fainting going to the left. Ops to go to the right instead. Catches the jump. Okay, that would have been extremely good for Dark Matter. He is fishing for those grabs. Dark Matter lands a grab. That's a back throw into a dead frog. Dead frogo. Let me tell you what. Winner of this set goes on to the grand finals to face off against Sinji. Both want to get that uh, that win. Dark Matter's never won a Xeno before, so that'd be the only case where we get a new champion. Ooh, I like the uh, cross ups with these dash attacks, setting him up for the forward air. Not enough to get the kill just yet. We had the death animation, but uses his uh, air dodge to get a lot of momentum, a lot of vertical space. Going off super deep, expecting Dark Matter to recover low, which is why he was going so ham. He's got a stock to play with, so I don't blame him. He didn't die for it either. Jabs right through the grab, challenging him. He knows the win, the win button for Dark Matter is that grab, so he's going to do everything in his power to avoid it. Gets the grab, back throw. Not enough to get a kill off of up throw just yet. 
But now he's at that prime percent where either opponent can land a grab. Going off super ham with that down air, trying to catch him off the top. Put him in a very bad spot for Dr. Matter to instantly get that back air. Now he's got him off stage at 179%. The babyest little hit could kill him. Maybe not jab, but like something a little bit higher. Maybe like a toddler hit. 194, he's living the dream. Gets the grab, sneakiest pivot grab gonna come into play. Venya clutching it out with that one stock lead. Takes away game number one. Got the bands coming in hot. Lilac, Cruz, and Unova are gone. Now the reason he probably banned Unova was because of those walls on the edge of the stage. Allows down smash, the yo-yo from down smash to be able to stay off there. It makes it pretty difficult for uh, Greninja to get back onto the stage. We're probably going to go to Kalos Pokemon League or Yoshi's Island Brawl. Both stages have those walls for Ness's down smash just to be able to hang out. So no matter what, he has the ability to go there. So Venya's going to have to deal with it. Let's see how he deals with the uh, the uh, Yoshi's Brawl stage coming up at you. Got a bunch of slants on this stage as well as like that middle platform. Class of 64 music coming our way. Opens up immediately with that dash attack. Doesn't even want to try to play safe. Dark Matter playing extremely aggro right now. Getting into Venia's face is kind of a t backwards world. I know, Topsy Turvy, Twilight Zone going on. Okay, he gets caught by the PK Thunder as he tries to du double jump. PK Thunder being a great tool for just following your opponent when they're airborne. It's very difficult to avoid. Even if you commit to the air dodge, they can just loop de loop that joint and catch you. He's just gonna roll away, connects that into a dash attack. It's a lot of damage off of it. My boy sitting at 72%, great patience coming from Dark Matter. Tries to chase it. Oh, and Benny using the cling. Again, Josie Allen Brawl, Greninja has that little attribute, gets the jab block, forward smash. What was that combo? Venia on fire right now. He's supposed to be a water Pokemon, chill. Okay, 92. As his opponent at 22, gets that dash attack, racks him up, trying to go for the ultimate with that back air. Great immediate air dodge from Dark Matter. Just try to avoid the follow. Couldn't avoid that time. Venia is running amok. What's going on? It's only been a minute 15. And he's still going. The damage won't stop. He's got 38. Can I see 48? Nah. Gonna break that conversion. It's parried. Nice. Back air out of shield. Uh, actually, back air out of parry. Let me rephrase. Back air out of parry. Fantastic option for Dark Matter. He is dragging him. Try to bait out the recovery and punish it accordingly. Runs in, gets a dash attack, waits for him to just fall off, just goes for the forward air instead. Talk on those damage, one stock away from being sent with a third place vent finish. Thing is, this is looking like Venia's match to win. Looking like a wrap, honestly. Dark Matter needs to pull something out of his hat. Rabbit or something, because right now this frog is just uh, destroying everything. 94% gets the grab. Gonna get a conversion off of this. No, it's a little bit too high. Again, Venia dashing back and forth, baiting out before he goes for the dash attack. Trying to close it out with these side Vs. Super hungry for the kill. Again, he gets really antsy with those attacks when he has a stock lead because why not? If he gets hit, he's not gonna die. And even if he does, he's got a whole other stock to play with. That PK Thunder was way too far away. Venia getting the grab, back throwing him. Another back. Gets the grab, forward throw. Easy bake oven. Venia taking that game with a commanding lead, two to zero. Dark Matter finishing off at third place finish here at Zeno 145, but uh, his highest placing yet. So congratulations to Dark Matter. You know we don't have too many nests over here in New York City, but when we get the uh, nest to come from New Jersey, come down and give us some uh, money for our running. You know it's always always a pleasure to have them. So now we're gonna jump into the final. Make sure you hit that follow button on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch.tv, YouTube. We have those instant uploads as well as being uploaded to VG Bootcamp as well. My name's Aussie. Let's jump into Grand Finals. Solo commentary. We got Sinji fighting against Venia. Deadly Alliance Grand Finals. You know, Wes is smirking somewhere. Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to be their game of choice. Last time these guys played, they were pretty much dominantly on Pokemon Stadium 2. Both feel incredibly comfortable on the stage. They feel incredibly comfortable fighting against each other. And he's going to do a good job just applying a lot of pressure against Sinji's shield with that back air. Okay. He's chilling right now. Now you notice that Sinji's throwing that hydrant onto the ground, trying to full form up a wall. That's Sinji's entire game plan. He wants to form a wall, prevent Venia from trying to break his defenses. 
and just keep, keep throwing on projectiles. Now, Venny, on the other hand, he's going to play a little bit more passive this time around, wait for his opening to come to him before committing to it. Also, that trampoline was in the way, going to force out that double jump. Trades positions with the Pac-Man is off stage. Hat forces the roll. Doesn't get too much off of it. Goes for a dash attack instead. If he would have gone for a neutral getup, footstool, he capitalized on that a little bit too high into the air. Gets back onto the ledge. 92% on Venio. Uses the forward air to just send the Hydra right back out. Let's go to the ledge. Double jumps into the back air. Has him off stage. Whiffs the jab, and Venio's going to punish that whiff. Get a lot of counters on the Hydrant. Puts him into a good spot. He's throwing out the up smash because the water pushes him and puts him into a... Did he just kick the pellet? He can capitalize. Gets the grab. Down throw. Forward air. Baits out the air dodge. Could not get the up smash. You see the drift from Sinji fading away to avoid a certain doom. Full hab. Double jumping backwards to avoid potential damage. Nairs right through the key, and because he did, was able to get a confirm on that punished uh, whiff grab. Turns into a kill of Venya. But I think I'm one of the first times he has a stock lead against Sinji in the first stock today. Trampling, trying to mess with his combos, but just keeps smashing the A button. Eventually, gonna have to let that finisher come out. Forward smash, optimal punish for Sinji to delete the frog. It's a lot of damage off of the Galaxian ship combos. Think about what Iman wants to do. He's got the uh, Galaxy ship again. Ship being really good for just getting combo damage off of it because it allows for the... It's one of the very few projectiles that can hit the opponent more than once on one throw. So he's, Benny is extremely hungry for these neutral airs. He gets a lot of damage off of it. Great combo starter. One of the air, airborne moves he wants to go for. Into a lot of jumps. Trying to de deal some damage to that Hydra and just end up you know, flying towards the opponent. We go, just gonna try to escape away. Has the trampoline deleted. Extremely unsafe. Sinji's gonna back off before committing to that third swing of jab. Tries to avoid the hydrant, gets caught by the two frame. Being an active hitbox. Ops recover high. You can, you know, expending his upbeat to get onto that platform to avoid the hydrant. And he's coming back. He's got the bell in hand. Really good at catching jumps. Gonna be able to stun the opponent to try to confirm into a back air or a smash attack. Orange instead goes at a very silly speed, catching Venny off guard twice in a row. Wasn't really prepared for that. Venny doesn't really deal with the orange too often. Goes for the down air, knows that he was too high in the air, that wouldn't cause an SD. But also, in case you got a little aggressive, would have caught him. Would have easily confirmed into a four air and got a kill. So I, I commend him for going for such a crazy option. Runs off stage, gets the four air. Not if he get the kill just yet, sitting at 195. Attempting to mess with his recovery with the hydro pump. You know, Sinji's back. Galaxian Ship just opted to just try to throw that downward just in case Sinji wanted to uh, approach a little bit. Uses the active hitbox of that back air. Goes for a second one. Gets the kill. Final stocks. Sinji versus Venia. Venia sitting at 55%. Not too much damage. Puts a trampoline into his spot. Just going to throw out that shuriken instead to delete it instead of coming into a, any sort of physical attacks. Sinji applying a ton of shield pressure with those aerials. And that was a great catch from Benio. He recognized that Sinji wanted to go for the ledge after that up B. Instead of you know, dealing with the landing line from laying down on the ground. Had an after hitbox there waiting for it. Now the drills from the up airs are starting to commence. Benio has yet to connect those, but I think at this point he's just forcing Sinji to you know, use his double jump. Again, wants to go for the up B to land onto the edge. Benio has an active hitbox waiting his opponent. Good evasion of that ledge attack. Back airs. A little bit too close, doesn't get too punished for it though. 76 to 87, neutral air doesn't want to commit to the up smash. Wanted to see if he's going to air dodge into him instead. Go for even a bigger punish. Counters the hydrant, sends it slowly flying towards him, catches the ledge roll with the down smash. Now Sinji, chilling with the bell. Trying to apply pressure, was hoping that if anyone wanted to get antsy with either let go of shield, jump forward air, or a grab. Runs away from the bell, but now the bell's in Pac-Man's hands. That's why he goes for the neutral air as well. It deflects the bell's effects from being able to stun him. As long as he has an active hitbox out there. Timer's starting to tick, but I don't think it's going to come into fruition, honestly. They're with a pretty high percentage. Just whoever, if, if Sinji lands his bell, that's that's the stock. Or if Benny lands a neutral air, that could also be a stock. 
Okay, applying pressure to the neutralizers on the ledge. Throwing out the shurikens. Gets caught by the hydrant. Look out. Getting super roll happy. Sinji might ca you know, catch on to that. Get a little wise. 135%. Now at this point, Sinji could theoretically just chill back. But if he chills back way too long, gets the dash stack, gets the up air. Venia taking away game one. I thought for a fact that Sinji was going to take that home. Take home the gold. But all Venya needed was one combo confirmed. He landed the dash attack. He got the upper afterwards. And now he is sitting pretty. One game away from resetting the bracket, by the way. Because we're doing best two of three grand finals. Because we don't want to be here until three in the morning. You feel me? Game two. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Sinji versus Venio. Now I notice that Sinji likes to do this a lot. He likes to jump off stage, charge the projectile, so it gives him a pretty safe space to not be hindered when he wants to go for the item that he wants to get. One of the, one of the later items, whether it be the Laxin ship, the bell, or the key. And honestly, we don't see the key too often from Sinji anymore. He likes to use it as like a wild card almost. His most popular items are definitely like the Galaxian ship or the bell. Okay, again, the counter on the Hydrant causes Pac-Man himself to go into slow motion. Almost looks like a Witch Timist. Witch Timish. Does Hydrant down in the center stage? Man trying to play keep up. Rolls away from the bell again. You know, he sees it coming, but Sinji just throws it out. Catches him out of jump, uh, jump out of shield immediately. And has a pretty commanding lead already. Already tagging on the damage too with his Galaxian chip combo. Hold on a second. Starting to overlap him. Mixes up where he's going to land. Goes for the uh, double hop off of the trampoline. Yeah, honestly, going for aerials out of shield, one of, the, one of the faster options to go for, which is why you'll see the lot from both these opponents, which is why they're throwing out projectiles or attack hitboxes to catch the jumps. Potential punish. Gets the down tilt, and he had the read. Even though he went the down smash, sent the hydrant. Hit Sinji. Oh, he is going super deep for these side piece. Makes it back onto the stage. Felt extremely confident that he would. 120% on Sinji. Punishes the grab. Even though the grab is a little better in this game than the previous one. It is still extremely punishable on whiff. Just like all grabs in this game, honestly. Smart setup. Sinji dropping the bell down to cover ledge attack and ledge get up. Baits out the roll. Gets the forward smash. Easiest trap in the book. See him running up, getting the dash attack. Grab, no follow-ups afterwards. My man's going for counters over and over. Gonna shield right underneath that fire hydrant as he chills on that ledge, 18%. And again, he's gonna dot, you know, go off stage, charge his projectile, and I actually didn't even catch which one he has. It's either the bell or the key. It is definitely the bell. Uses the hydrant's water to push the bell into Venia, completely all according to plan. Looking for that second conversion, 164%. Venia is in a rough spot. He's got rage to play with, but not anymore. Sinji just easily gets that grab. Edge of the stage, back throws him. He actually air dodged into the stage because he thought he was going to grab the ship. Re-grab it. Going off super deep because he needs to make go for a power move. Good stuff. Catches the air dodge, goes for the forward smash. Now he's diving back in. Runs in, gets the dash attack, forces out the air dodge. Venia, oh, my god, he, he's just climbing this hill. So tough. 104%, needs a back air, a forward tilt, pushes him off stage again. Pretty sure he recharges double jump, but Venia's gonna catch that side B recovery. He might be out of jumps, honestly, he is. That's why Venia's trying to capitalize. Back throws again, tosses him back off. He has more resources this time around. He tried to air dodge onto the ledge, but he just couldn't quite make it, and he recovered too low. S.D. Self-destruct on Sinji's part. One stock left to go. Gonna be able to neutral her into that up, up tilt. We still chilling out here. Tries to get this follow-up. Following his roll onto the stage, water shurikens again. Uses the up to escape any sort of approach that anyone's got going. Nice conversion, gets the grab afterwards. Now at this point, Venia 
looking for these uh, ground space. He wants to control the stage. He wants to dominate. Because because the gigantic lead that Sinji had this entire game is now gone. It disappeared. Vinny has so much control right now. He stole the lead from his opponent. Throwing out the Melon because it's such a slow-moving projectile. Now he's going to try to find his way back down to center stage. Look out for that Galaxian ship. Sinji's trying to think of something. Or just throw it, you know. Try to get that combo out of there. This is the dash attack that pushes the Fire Ranger back into his opponent. Galaxian ship in hand. Gets the conversion off of it. And dash attack forward air. Bates out the air dodge into an up smash. Catches the sour spot, but he's still leading at 101%. Gonna wait for that Hydrant to go away before going for the approach. Gets the dash attack, gets the forwarder, resets the bracket, and we are in our final set of the day. Their set count now today only one to one. So, yeah, we got two to three, potentially three more games left in us, guys. We're, we're in here, man. Once again, my name's Osti. I'm here doing some solo casting. My boy Nixie left me. So sad. Excited by the betrayal of my good friend. We're going straight back to PS2. This entire, guys, I'm telling you right now, this entire set's gonna be on Pokemon Sam 2. They are friends, they love this stage. They will play here, they feel most comfortable, most comfortable here against each other. This is what happens when you're part of the same crew, right? They're both part of Deadly Alliance. They play with each other a lot. They know each other extremely well. So it, like, it's no surprise who will take the set. It just depends on who is playing better at that moment. Because honestly, I think they're at the same skill level. I think they're both like pretty much on par with each other. So this is anyone's tournament. Both previous uh, Xeno champions. I'm pretty sure Venia was the, one, the most recent one compared to Sinji. Dash attack confirms into the back air. Try to get the side B followed back towards my man sitting at 92%. Sinji could easily go for a bell conversion at this point. Doesn't want to commit to it just yet. Baits out the air dodge. He is all over this man, baiting up so many air dodges. I don't know if Sinji just feels that like Venny is gonna approach after him with these aerials or what? Because he is playing mad scary. You see him float up there with the Paxter? Okay, again, down B. He, he gets that trigger off of the Hydrant. Even though it's not shooting the water just yet, he's able to trigger the counter and causes the pretty much the entire game just to go into slow-mo. You see how slowly. Since you threw out that projectile, my man was looking like he was stuck in molasses. Good spacing out and great, fantastic directional influence coming out from Sinji. Gets back onto the stage at 127%. Man's got Bell. Try to throw it out. Kills him with the counters. Venia takes the first stock of the set. And here in true finals, not just grand finals bracket reset, this is true finals, y'all. Okay, gets the grab. Look out for that bell. A little bit too high in the air. Miss Gage it. Thought Blinky, or sorry, Inky was going to be able to catch that up smash. Not enough. Gets the forward air. Kills him with the bell. Two stocks apiece. Just going to throw out that shuriken just to delete the trampoline. That's exactly what Sinji was waiting for. Did he just cover his grab because the Galaxian ship went behind him? All according to plan, question mark? There we go, he threw out the ship again, trying to catch any sort of tech roll. It's over a lot of the roll options, but Venny just kind of chilled. Lay down on the ground. Trying to play safe. Now he's at 77%. Again, using the trampoline to back off a bit. Sees him readying the forward air, has his own bell ready to go. It's extremely hard for Venia to try to like dash off stage and get some sort of edge guard against his opponent. Pac-Man's recoveries can be extremely tricky because he has side B and up B in his arsenal, as well as you know double jump, air dodge. So that's why you don't really see Venia go off stage too hard, except for when it, like Sinji's really high in the air, when he can afford to and not risk too much. That time the bell's gonna be able to connect, gets the inky up smash, has him close enough to the ground. Now Sinji has himself with a stock lead in game number one. That shield looking mighty weak. Sinji had no choice but to put on the offensive. If he would have pushed the R button one more time, there could have been a potential shield poke or shield break. Okay, another down air from midair. 
Ooh, got the counters against the Hydra. Not gonna be able to get too much off of it. Neutral air, can't seem to find the follow up forward airs. The log instead is dragging on so much damage, about to overlap him in percent. Things are looking bleak for Venio. He needs one good confirm, one down tilt, one neutral air, one dash attack. Something to get, you know, get the juice going. Find some steam in this train. Doing a lot of Z-drops, catches the landing with the dash attack, can't seem to find this follow-up. Dash attack, down tilt again, not trying to bait out the air dodge that time around. I feel like every single time he gets a little aggressive with those aerial attacks, Sinji has the air dodge at the ready. He can't seem to mix him up with this 50-50. And he got a little overzealous with that down air. Finds himself down in the blast zone. I mean, he had to go for a power play. I I, I understand what happened. He he was down a whole stock, was at high percent. He's like, I need this now or I, I'm not going to win. So he gambled it all. And now he's in his potential final game. Tournament point in Sinji's favor. What a roller coaster of a set we've been having. Pac-Man versus Greninja yet again. This Deadly Alliance Grand Finals, here we go. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh! I'm incorrect. Town and City. A little change of pace. Some more calm music, befitting of true finals. Okay, he starts up immediately with the dash attack. Venue is starting to play a little bit more passive this game. I'm, I'm not noticing what he's doing. He's using the platforms of Town and City. Just kind of hopping all over the place. Uses more than just the two simple platforms. And then when the platforms go away, he has Pac-Man without a... Just on the uh, final destination, you know? Might be the change of pace he's been looking for this whole time. They're trying to hold shield. He, he attempted to jump out of it as well, but the glassy ship is so hard to deal with because there's three active hitboxes coming your way. First hit of ship, whatever Sinji's throwing out himself, and then the second hit is uh, ship. Now Sinji is using uh, this layout. I don't think is in Venia's favor. This layout allows Sinji to be able to jump on the platforms off stage, set up shop, and charge up his projectiles. And there's not much Venny can really do to try to approach him because he's at an advantage. He can't win because Sinji has the high ground. Nice catch. Every single time Sinji goes for those uppies on the ledge, Venny is going to be able to cover that with a forward smash. Takes away first stock going to Venny's Greninja. Then he is setting up shop behind the hydrant, charging up the projectile. As his working grab this time around, Venny's going to be able to jump, double jump away from any sort of follow up that Sinji was thinking about going for. Nice call out, throws out the hydrant. Venny getting up at the worst time possible, getting caught by the hydrant again. Apple. Going to be able to do it. The thing about the apple is it's deceiving, right? It's a pretty slow moving projectile, but it bounces a couple times and has a ton of knockback. Has the potential to kill, just like it did. A lot of mess going on here. You'll just notice that Venya can, is allowed to spam counter in this matchup because of the Hydrant. Another counter. Gonna fall right down onto the stage. Trying to get this dash attack. He really wants the combo starter. Sinji just backing away, going for the uppie instead onto the platform behind him. Another counter catches him far away because he was in slow-mo again. A lot faster paced uh, match than we were seeing in the, compared to the first set that we saw in Winner's Finals. I think it's, it's honestly due in part to Venny just playing a lot more aggressive this time around. As I'm offstage, tries to splash him. With the splashums. Oh my god, that was a different smash attack. If that was potentially up smash or down smash, if he would have held it for that long, he would have caught Sinji. But now he's on his potential final stock, but so is Sinji. Venya one stock away from taking this to the final game of the tournament. Can he do it? Can he put one more point on the board and maybe even another one that would take home the gold? 
Sinji backing away. Again, using that upbeat to just try to escape whatever follow-ups Benny wants to go for. The regression just goes for a second up smash just in case Sinji wants to air dodge right back in. Depending on how scared or panicky he's playing. And throwing the shurikens, forcing Sinji to make a move. Try to avoid the Galaxian ship, but instead gets the, all the combo damage, rolls right into the grab. Sinji has a lot of control. 89% on Benny up. Charges up the projectile, opts to go for the orange. Charges up a little bit more. Bell, if he lands this, it's over. Oh, he whiffs it. A little bit too far away. Catches the blinky on the hydrant instead. Benny is still alive. Counter. Uses it. Oh my god, try to follow up with a forward air instead. Sinji knew exactly what was going on. Double jumps to escape harm. Has the bell. Puts it right back into the stock. Gotta be careful. Jump away from it. He was airborne. Caught out of jumps. Connects the bell. Lands Inky. And takes home Xeno. 145. Sinji's Pac-Man is your champion. Look at that beautiful play. I mean, that was just all complete setup. The second Venia lost his double jump, Venia had, Sinji had the game. Because the only thing he could have done was go for a neutral air dodge into the stage, but even then he might have gotten caught by the bell. So, hey, that's the that's, uh, Xeno 145, guys. Sinji taking away first place with Pac-Man. Coming back in. I think, I don't, he's not, he has not won a Xeno since the first one, I'm pretty sure, for Ultimate. That is correct. Yeah, so 